Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about how to install Ubuntu 13.04 64-bit desktop into VirtualBox. Ubuntu comes from a South African word that means all people are connected by a bond of humanity. The outcomes for this video would be to download Ubuntu 13.04 64-bit desktop, configure VirtualBox settings for Ubuntu 13.04 64-bit desktop, Install the desktop, update Ubuntu, install your VirtualBox guest editions, and install DKMS dynamic kernel module support, which will recompile VirtualBox guest editions automatically when kernel updates are installed. Requirements uh, a host operating system installed on 64 bit hardware. This demonstration uses Windows 7, VirtualBox 4.2.14 or higher. Do not use 4.2.12 or even any earlier version. So make sure you've got at least this version because 4.2.12 really did not play very nicely with uh, VirtualBox internet connection and enough memory to uh, both run Ubuntu 13.04 and your host operating system. Now Ubuntu documentation says you only need 384 megabytes of RAM but this demonstration uses 768 megabytes of RAM. I tried installing Ubuntu into VirtualBox with 512 megabytes of RAM and it would work sometimes and it would not work at other times uh, when I updated it. I would recommend at least having a gigabyte of RAM which is 1024 megabytes. Additional info of course you have Ubuntu site, Ubuntu forums and VirtualBox. Uh, while I research this material I can't fully verify that it'll work with all combinations of hardware and software out there so I've included a disclaimer if you wish you can stop the video and read the disclaimer the first step in installing Ubuntu 13.04 Raring Ringtail desktop is to download the software from the Ubuntu site www.ubuntu.com click on desktop get Ubuntu now we're going to get a, choose Ubuntu 13.04 and 64-bit for newer machines. Click here on it. They'll take you to a page where they're asking you to donate some money. And in my case, I'm just going to say no. Just simply take me to the download. And I'm going to save the file. And I'm going to save it into my... Uh, I've created a special directory and downloads Ubuntu... Ubuntu 13.04 desktop and I'm simply going to save it in that folder on my Windows 7 machine. When the download is complete I'll come back. Now that Ubuntu has been downloaded the next step will be to configure a virtual machine in VirtualBox for Raring Ringtail. You may want to do this concurrently while the actual download is taking place. This download here took about 10 minutes. You may have a faster or slower connection depending on your location. Now to set up VirtualBox for Ubuntu 13.04 desktop, simply go to New and we're going to give it its name. Call it Base64 because it's a 64-bit operating system. Ubuntu RR for Raring Ringtail 01 type Linux and in this case we'll come down here and select Ubuntu 64-bit. Next, according to the manual, Ubuntu 13.04 will run with 384 megabytes of memory, but I've run it with 512 megabytes of memory and sometimes I had an install problem. It would simply give me an error message when it was updating and it would say your computer does not have enough memory to analyze the problem. So I recommend doing at least 756 megabytes of memory and of course you have to have leave enough memory on your uh, hardware machine so that its operating system will run. So 756 megabytes and if you've got a Windows 7 computer it's one gigabyte of memory uh, whatever the hardware machine requires of course. Click next and we'll create a virtual hard drive. Create and just take all default next and in this case I usually build my machines with 20 
gigabytes of uh, storage and click create. Now, two changes I'm going to make to this system. Uh, one is on display and I'm going to add to add some a lot more memory to it. Give as much memory as possible and also I'm going to enable 3D acceleration. Click OK. On the storage I've got to have this point toward where the file is downloaded, where the ISO file is downloaded. So I'm going to just basically choose uh, ISO file and basically I've got 13.04 desktop AMD 64 ISO open. Click OK. Once that's done, I'm ready to go ahead and start. So here's the machine down here at the bottom. I'm just going to run it up here a little ways to make it easier to work with. And then simply right click on it and we're going to start it up. Now here's the uh, base Ubuntu 64 Rearing Ringtail 01. It's going to go through a startup procedure and slowly load the uh, CD or DVD. Here you're offered two choices. Try Ubuntu, install Ubuntu, and of course you get to pick your language. In this case I'm going to just leave it with English and install Ubuntu. And I'm going to also choose download updates while installing, installing third-party software. That way I won't have to reconfigure things as later. Click on continue. And we're going to erase the disk, install Ubuntu. This is default. Click install now. And I'm going to choose New York. Well, that's default. Again, I'm going to go with it. Keyboard layout. Again, there's no choices. English, English, and that's the way I'm going to go. Of course, you you can you can choose whatever keyboard layout that's pertinent for you. And in this case, I'm going to put in my name for and I'm going to come up with the name of this base 64 Ubuntu R01 of course this all has to be lowercase and I'm going to have a password that's fairly weak but then I use the same password on all these virtual machines that way I don't have to worry too much about it click continue now here we go. We're going. It's just going to go stall, and pretty much you just have to let it trundle along. You can go visit all your choices here. Find even more software on how to use. Uh, get the Ubuntu Software Center. You've got a choice here with music. Uh, Ubuntu comes with a rhythm box player. Uh, have fun. You've got uh, Shotwell, and of course you can always download GIMP. In Ubuntu One, I really haven't. Uh, I tried Ubuntu One, but I found uh, it didn't work as well as I really liked to. Firefox web browser, of course, with uh, Flash. Then you've got your LibreOffice, and there's also another program that's not listed here, but it's installed by default. It's called LibreDraw. And then your accessibility tools. That's pretty much it for the slideshow. Now we'll just go through and I'll come back when this is installed. Okay, here we have the installation is complete and it says restart now. Now one word of warning, you may have to, re it may not re be able to restart by itself, we'll see. Click on restart now, it may hang up during the restart and then you're just going to have to power off the machine, but don't worry about it. it gives you nice all kinds of colors. When you see those all kinds of colors come on, you know something's not happy with the software. Now here we have the system is going down for reboot now. Caught signal 15 shut, shutting down. Now if you want to wait a minute or two, it probably will not shut down. So we're going to go to machine, close, and just simply power off the machine. The next section of the video will be how to update the Ubuntu 13.04. Click OK and that's it for installing the software. In this section we're going to update the new install. Now, if you recall we had to shut it down manually because it wouldn't reboot by itself. So we go to start and when we update it I'm just going to use the command line. The reason I'm going to use the command line is because it will operate very slowly. Once you install the updates 
it speeds up. The section after that, I'm going to reboot it and install VirtualBox Guest Editions. The actual install took about 20 minutes, so here we are to sign in. I still don't have keyboard action. There we go. And this is not going to operate uh, very quickly. It's going to be very, very slow, taking about a minute or two for it to come up. So the way I'm going to update is I'm going to use the command line because if I try and do it with the update manager, I'm afraid it's going to go completely slow. So hopefully you've got at least 768 megabytes of RAM. I've tried it with uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So to use this, we'll just go sudo apt get update and two ands, ampersands, sudo apt get dash y upgrade. Make sure everything's keyed in correctly because this is going to run for about 20 minutes and if you make a mistake here, I, I can't predict what the uh, outcome will be. Hit enter and then wait a minute or so. It's going to ask for your uh, password. Hit enter again and it should take off. And like I said, this is going to take another 15 or 20 minutes, so you might as well just come back. Because if you hit the dash Y, you won't have to do any other, shouldn't have to do anything else. And when you come back, it should work a little bit quicker. Don't worry if it hangs up for a while on, uh, like in this, my case, it's hanging up around 86%. There's a, on the reading packing package just uh, it seems to do that and I don't know exactly where what the situation is but I don't think it's a network connection I think it may be something to do with um, memory and downloading there it goes finally and then it hangs up again but um, like I say don't worry about it if it's ha if it hangs up for a few minutes at a certain percentage while it's download uh, while it's reading the package list When you come back, you may find that uh, screensavers come on. If it has, simply put in your password. It might take uh, a little bit longer than you normally expect, but don't worry about it. Just click unlock. And I'm going to have to wait some more. Now, my virtual machine has taken about 17 minutes to do this update. So now, I don't know if you notice this. But the keyboard works so much faster. I'm just going to do a simple. Well, I'm going to do a simple shutdown. Okay, so that's power off, and you shouldn't. It should shut off by itself. Okay, so now let's go start. Start it back up. Click start. And in this section, I'm going to uh, add guest editions, VirtualBox guest editions. So now here with devices, I'm going to install guest editions. And it should start automatically. Uh, you should have uh, removed the uh, installed disk and then made the uh, DVD empty. So let's just click Run here. And this will also will also request your password, but it will also run slow. I don't. If you're used to running guest editions for uh, previous versions of Ubuntu. This is going to run slow, but don't worry about it for now. Then we're going to reboot afterwards. Come back when it's uh, 
ready to go. So it's taken about five minutes uh, for VirtualBoss guest editions to install. So let's close this window. And I'm going to go back to the terminal. Type in T-E-R M-I-N-A-L. You should see a terminal window come up. Open it up. And we're going to reboot. Sudo reboot. And when it starts up now, it should move quite a bit faster. So now it's rebooted. Uh, make sure I get the password right. And with the reboot, you'll notice that, well, let me uh, go to view here. And I'm going to auto size, resize guest display. So I'm going to get a bigger, larger display. And view, and have to click on it twice. Well, that's unusual. You, there we go. I think it was just basically slow. Now, my recommendation is get one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, it's still going to run slow. This is still 13.04, but the more memory you give it, the, the faster it's going to go. One thing I want to do is install a dynamic kernel module support. What this does is, if you get a kernel upgrade, it recompiles the VirtualBox module, the VirtualBox guest editions module, automatically, so you don't have a mismatch between the kernel update and the older uh, and the older uh, VirtualBox driver, guest editions driver. So this sudo apt get install dkms. Ask for your password. And then it's going to ask yes or no. And once that's installed, I'm going to check for Unity 3D support. And the main purpose of this is just simply keep your uh, Linux kernel and your VirtualBox guest editions in sync. So to check for 3D support, if it's USR Live, NUX, Unity, support, test space dash p and it says if you notice right here unity 3d supported so that's about it for uh, installing uh, ubuntu 13.04 raring ringtail like i say i give it a little more memory than uh, what they're asking for and uh, everything should work quite a bit quicker thank you